Hello and welcome to this Exposure Events instructional video. In this video we're going to go through our new uh, auto scheduler called Schedule Pro. Um, we still have the standard version which uses the sa uh, same logic as before. Uh, the new Pro version uh, actually uses um, artificial intelligence. It's actually used by Pro Leagues throughout the world. Uh, if you look at the bottom here we have our unscheduled games uh, all ready to go. If I go to my uh, grid settings below, I can see I have a minimum rest game of 60 minutes all the way up to 240 minutes, and I have a max games per day of two. Uh, let's go to our team sections real quick, and I want to show you the restrictions. We have quite a bit of restrictions on this event. We have 215 restrictions, so uh, pretty uh, restriction heavy on this event. And let's go ahead and uh, schedule this puppy. So let's go ahead and hit Pro with Auto Scheduler. Now, uh, there is some limitations. Uh, this is only pool games. Uh, it covers uh, maximum games per day, maximum games per week, minimum times rest, maximum times rest, minimums day rest between games, uh, play between before or after certain dates and times, uh, don't play at certain times against another uh, participant, uh, division venue locations, uh, team venue location without a date or total. Uh, it does not schedule bracket games, uh, games rating, ro uh, rolling day rules, travel times yet, and conditional pool games. If you want to do bracket games after your pool games, you can use just a standard and it will actually put them in there. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and hit the auto schedule button here. Now since there's uh, quite a bit of number of rules um, that we have, team uh, team restrictions, it's probably going to tell us to, um, uh, uh, to wait. And so we're going to get an email when this is finished and we can just go back and it'll be ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, wait for that email and we'll come back and look at it. Okay, we are back now. It took about five minutes to get our uh, uh, email that our schedule was complete. I uh, just wanted to point out, if you didn't want to wait, maybe you have a small schedule, you could always always hit cancel schedule here and just do it manually really quick. Um, let's go ahead and hit the view schedule button here. And it's going to launch our schedule. It looks like it's scheduled every single game. Uh, now keep in mind, uh, if it can't fit every single game, uh, uh, you always hit the validate button down here. And you will catch some things maybe that weren't auto scheduled. So if it looks like like one issue was that happened, and it looks like um, H2 here is playing pretty far out from our 240 minute rule. It just couldn't fit it. Um, you know, if you want to move things around afterwards, you can do that and try to make it work and make it a little bit closer. Uh, but it looks like it took into account all our uh, 200 plus rules, our schedule grid rules, um, and it did quite uh, well in, ter in terms of putting them in the right places. Uh, and actually compounding all the games so we don't have any missing spots. If you have any uh, questions about the results, please email us or use chat on the website. Um, we will be fine-tuning this and adding features every month. Um, that's the end of this Exposure Events instructional video.